So in this video, we're going to have a look at putting a roof or a canopy over our well. To start with, we want to put some timber columns. So I'm just jumping over to my plan view right here. We'll go to the structure tab column and you may want vertical columns. First of all, load family. And I've gone into the structural columns folder wood and I've just used the timber one by there. So I've got the 140 by 140 size. Let's drop that on the center by there. And I'll just come in there. And then it should line up. We get that little blue dashed line to line it up nicely on the other side. There we go. And then you could fine tune the positions if you want. Make sure they're exactly the same off each side. 240 on that one. And it was 260 on the other. So we'll make them both 250. Why not? There we go. Right. Let's now click on those two columns and we'll set their heights. Now, you might want to check your heights in one of your elevations, first of all, to get the top of the wall for the well or whatever it is you're choosing. So my base offset and my top offset so level zero and i think it was 750 and i'm going to do it 1500 higher so i'll make that 2250 oops and then change it to level zero as well so i've got that 1500 difference in height and there we go there's our two uprights now i want some sloped columns to act as little brackets so what I'm going to do is go on to um, a section I've created by here. All right. And column, and it wants me to pick a plane. So I'll pick that plane and then I'll let it jump across to there. Not an ideal position. Same ties timber. Slanted column is now selected. So I'll go here and then I'll take it down to there okay and i'm gonna change that to around 500 all right oh it's actually come up a little bit but okay so what i can do now is highlight it go back to the section and we can see the base is down by here so i'm just going to drag that base out until i get a 45 degree angle and you may need to just make sure you are on fine detail level. OK, I'll do in this because if you're on course, you'll see they appear as just a standard line, which is much better like this. OK, so there's a bracket on one side. I will mirror that bracket now. So let's click and mirror and we can now move the cursor to the center by there and it will do that straight away. Let's have a look at that in 3D. You will notice there's a bit of a crisscrossing. So what we're going to do here is use the notch command. OK, so we click the notch command. We click the item that wants to be notched and then we click the item that it's notching to. And we will notice that there is a gap. But let's do the others while we're at it. There we go. Now, if we click on this and look down in our properties, we will find a notching distance. And I'm going to change that to zero. And now you'll see that it sits flush. And I'll do the same on this one. OK, and then we want to create those for the other side as well. So that's fairly straightforward. So what I'm going to do is jump across to my north elevation and just use that to highlight them there, draw a box around them, use the copy command, and just go from endpoint to endpoint, copy them in, and then I'm gonna to have to just re-notch those as well. Because it doesn't seem to co copy the notch, but it does remember that we want them flush now, which is nice. Okay, so there's our initial bracket. 